Hi there. And Happy New Year, by the way. This is the 1st of January, recording this. Um, 2019. Uh, I just realized I have the sun in my eyes, but I think we'll be okay anyway. <laughs> Uh, some of you have asked me what do I need to get started in bushcrafting and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you and I'm going to tell you what I normally bring in my backpack. Before we start, let me just say that there is a difference between bushcraft and hiking and uh, wild camping or camping out in the woods or the mountains and nature. Um, I would say that bushcraft you need only a knife to start bushcrafting and you can do it in your garden. Uh, well you can do it, do it in practice bushcrafting skills in your living room actually, some of them. Uh, hiking is different, you can't be hiking in your garden. Well you can but that would be kind of odd I would say. <laughs> So, um, in this video, I am talking about um, uh, when you add the hiking part into bushcraft and you go into the woods and you stay there for some time. So, uh, this is what you need uh, for that kind of bushcrafting. Okay, so first of all, you will need a backpack. And I would say that the most important thing about the backpack is that it fits your body, your back. And many people, um, they buy backpacks that are too long here in, in this. The torso length is not, is too long. Um, so please try to get a backpack that fits your back. If it's too long, it will, uh, this belt, the hip belt will squeeze on your, well I can't remember the names now, but nerves uh, in your uh, hips, which will, um, it will be very un uncomfortable. Okay, and also try to get a backpack that is lightweight, okay. I see lots of bushcrafters, they buy heavy backpacks. Um, and I know some of you will tell me that that's, that's fine, but my opinion, my honest opinion, after having hiked for miles and miles and miles, is that every ounce counts, okay? Of course, if you are going backpack, backpacking, sorry, bushcrafting or backpacking, if you are going bushcrafting just into, you know, like uh, 500 meters into the woods behind your house, I think you'll be okay, then the weight of the backpack doesn't matter much. But um, as a general rule, try to get a backpack that is lightweight, but it still has to be uh, built um, in a solid way. It can't be some of the very uh, ultra light backpacks are just too um, brittle and they can tear, especially when you carry it with you axes and uh, well an axe and knife and all sorts of equipment so you will need something that's a bit more sturdy than the ultralight uh, backpacks at least the ones that I have come across um, uh, so this is uh, 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 as you can see a Gneik uh, 54 liter it's a Lundhags uh, Gneik 54 liter um, I'm very happy with this backpack. It's uh, just the right size for me. Uh, 54 liters. I haven't. It's not expanded uh, to its maximum right now, so I can. Um, I haven't brought extra clothes now because I'm just day hiking today. But uh, I could have um, by expanding it further. Okay. So let's see what's in the backpack. First of all. I have my axe. Um, you don't need a very expensive axe. This is a Grenzfors axe and it's kind of expensive but that's unnecessary. Uh, but do try to get a good axe with a wooden handle. I have my Bakko Laplander folding saw. Quite cheap and lightweight. 
and I have um, these came together actually. Uh, I think it's, it says Bakko, but I think I'm quite so certain that this is a, a Mura knife, which are always very good. Great. I have um, a flashlight, uh, just a small one, on a carabiner hook here. Um, and thank you, Kane. Thank you, because he sent me this as a Christmas gift. So thank you. I have uh, a drinking uh, a water bottle made of stainless steel. Try to get stainless steel. Um, because it, um, you can put that over your fire and boil water directly in it if you forgot your kettle. Here's my kettle. Uh, sleeping bag. Try to get a warm sleeping bag. Do not save money on your sleeping bag. If you are going to spend money, spend those money on a good sleeping bag. Uh, if you are in a uh, humid um, environment, try to get a synthetic. Uh, if you are in a dry or uh, arctic environment, uh, down is better because it's warmer and um, more lightweight. And this is, um, again, thank you, uh, I can't remember your name right now, sorry about that. You sent me a uh, piece of advice through my Patreon page um, because this is a uh, you put this around your inflatable sleeping pad, which is here. And I've had uh, an incident where uh, I got this uh, uh, into the fire actually, and uh, it burnt a hole in it. So um, I tried to patch it up, but during the night the uh, air seeped out and. Uh, yeah, so after that, I bought this, which you put around your inflatable sleeping pad. You can get um, a foam sleeping pad, but my because of my back, you know, I, I think it's more comfortable with an inflatable sleeping pad. Uh, here's a... Uh, you use this to inflate your sleeping pad. It's, it's uh, also a bag, a waterproof uh, bag, uh, gloves. Um, as you can see, I haven't brought any uh, clothes with me today. If I was to spend the night, I would bring, of course, uh, some clothes. Uh, those, I put them in the front pocket here. Um, a cup, toilet paper, quite important, uh, a pad, sitting pad, some food. Um, if I was spending a longer time out in the woods, of course, I would bring more food and more to drink. Uh, pencil, uh, f folding, a uh, fo uh, collapsible stove, um, spork. Did I mention my tarp? Here's the tarp. You can also use this as an emergency shelter. Uh, it's a uh, Yadvin bag. Uh, check out my video about this bag. It's awesome. Um, first aid kit, notebook, compass, GPS. I use the GPS. I never use the GPS. Uh, I use it only for if I find something that you know an area of interest, or a, I, I mark that as a waypoint on my GPS. And a map, toothbrush, and there's this strange little item here. Those are matches. Um, and you might have noticed that there are no flint and steel, no ferro rod here, because I think that that's not where you want to start. You want to start by building a sensible fire, and you do that using uh, matches or a lighter. I must say, uh, even though I tell everyone, do bring matches or lighter, I never do myself, but I should. I know I should, because in an emergency this is faster and you know so bring matches or um, 
or your uh, lighter. Um, so this is what you need to go out for some time in the woods, at least in this area. Um, if it was colder, I mean, it's strange, it's January, than I would uh, here in Norway, but it's still very warm. I would bring more clothes, of course. This is a very warm sleeping bag, but so that's what, that's for the winter. But I would bring more clothes, of course. Okay, so this is what I think you need to uh, be able to get out into the woods and stay there for overnighters in uh, comfort while practicing your bush bushcraft skills. Now. Um, obviously, if you are only going out for a few hours, you don't need all this. Um, basically, I would say you need a knife, that's all. Um, and depending on where you are going, you will need also, um, I mean, a map and compass. And also, please do learn to use the map and compass. It's not difficult and it makes uh, life uh, a lot more uh, safe out in the woods. Now, um, of course, there will be variations depending on where you are. This is what I would bring now. Um, if you are obviously in a desert, it would be completely different. But the basics, um, I think, uh, will be the same. Um, be prepared for um, emergencies and bring some cutting tools and some shelter and a sleeping bag and so on. Okay, I think that's all for now. And uh, please write in the comments if there's anything you, you think I forgot. Now, if I, <laughs> I would like to say though that if I add all the things that you uh, think I forgot, then I wouldn't be able to carry it all. Uh, so you have to make some choices and you have to leave some equipment and something that you think would have been useful you have to do some make some choices you can't bring everything um, keep the weight down please keep the weight down um, it's not fun I, I don't care how big and strong you are it's not fun for anyone to 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 walk out into the into the woods for some distance with a very heavy backpack um, just as a side note, I sometimes, when you go to sports stores and so on, they, at least I have um, heard people say, people who work there, that, um, you know, this big backpack is for the experienced hikers. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> experienced people tend to bring less. Um, it's a saying among bushcraft people among bushcrafters that um, the more you know, the less you bring. So keep that in mind as well. And have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you in a few days. Bye bye.